Hey folks, my name is Dwayne Morris, and I am a friend of Wallace Nicks. That's really all I got to say, uh, because that's just been a big blessing in my life. But uh, let, me, let me tell you why we're here today. Uh, I get the privilege of kind of stopping by Chosen Children on, on, a, on occasion and uh, get me some coffee and just hearing what God's doing in Wallace's life and Chosen Children. And today, we've kind of come to tell you a little bit more about what's happening and chosen children. Yeah, Dwayne comes by a lot of, on Fridays we have Random Thought Fridays where we've been thinking about things and opportunities God's given us in the ministry to reach more people. Uh, with everything we're doing, we're doing with eternal value and so we, we have all kind of projects. We encourage you as being on the field with chosen children or praying about going on the field with chosen children. If you have ideas or random thoughts, be sure to send them to us. We're always uh, interested uh, how God is using you and the ministry and how you can share that with us, uh, with us because what we're trying to do is make investments in folks' lives, especially the children of Nicaragua. Yeah. When I think about some of the things that we've been yeah. talking about and how the Lord has blessed it and brought it to fruition, uh, you know, you got the, the Yellow Bag Project where a thousand children had the opportunity to yeah. go to school, mm -hmm. the uniform and uh, school supplies, and then kind of out of that, you know, we were sitting around and thinking, well, you know, we need to give them something to read, and so we came up with this idea of a children's book that has um, English and Spanish, and then at the very end it has the uh, gospel presentation, and so what a, a great tool this has been. It sure has. This was a random thought. Uh, this was ladies who had been uh, to Nicaragua, built a schoolhouse out of a public school. They, they went down, gathered a team, went down and built a school in a barrio there. And they come back wanting to do more. So they had random thoughts of presenting the gospel. So the teachers and the principal got together and they designed and uh, come up with this book, which is a very powerful tool we use in the yellow bag. And uh, as you can see, we got water bottles and everything a child will need to go to school for a, for a full year yeah. down there. Yeah, as, as I see all that and think about it, you know, I always wonder what's next, Wallace. What, yeah. what has God put on your heart next? <laughs> well, it's uh, funny you should ask because... Uh, as I say, we're always open to ideas of how we can better reach uh, children and adults in the country of Nicaragua where we're ministering. And this little bus right here is an idea uh, Michael Angelelli out of Virginia came up with and so it wants to call it a yellow, bag, a yellow bus project. And what this would do is create a portable classroom that could go out to the barrios and minister to the children and adults. Uh, this is a bus that we own now. And many of you have been there and you ride around in a yellow school bus. Well, that's the bus we're talking about. And what we want to do is make this a project called a yellow bus project. And we're going to make a portable classroom. Also on the side of the bus, we're going to put a, a movie screen so you can show movies there. It would be used by teams who were down. And that when teams are not there, we'd be able to still go out to the barrios. We're in 20 barrios now and be able to teach English, computer skills, may even use it for a medical office when we have medical teams down. Now, we this is a brand new project, one of the random thought projects. Yeah. But we feel God is in it. We've prayed much about it. Now, what I would love for you to do is follow us on this and be a part of it. We're going to, this bus, it don't cost anything to take this bus apart. In fact, uh, Guillermo is going to video all along stripping this bus out. We hope to have a generator on it, an air conditioner on it. We put a school class desk in there and a whiteboard and teaching facilities and a uh, screen on the side. And we'd love for you to follow us as we do that. So stay tuned. This is a project that we need you involved in. Now, we're going to do the first steps, which don't cost us anything. We tear things up pretty good. Yep. So that's not going to cost us anything. But putting the bus back together is going to take some resources. And we ask you to be a part of that. As I said, we're going to kick this off in the very near future, and we want you to stay tuned. Now, I'm sure that's not cheap. No. I tell you, when you start talking about an air conditioner, something like you'd have on a motorhome here and a generator the same way and wiring it and all that, we're looking at about $25,000 to equip this bus wow. to be a portable classroom. But it's going to have adult education in it. When we go to the barrios, you can imagine a child coming home from school asking their mom and dad to help them with some class work, and they can't read or write. So we're going to give adults an opportunity to be involved in this educational program we have going on. Yeah, right we now. joked about that. That's like my kids coming home and asking me to help them with calculus. Yeah, I ain't able to help one bit. That's right. You know, so, and these yeah. these kids come home and they want their parents just to help them read. Absolutely. And their mom and dad can't help them read. So there was adult education. Wow. Computer skills. Yeah. English, and medical. So this is a very. Uh, effective tool yes. in 20 barrios that would be able to reach 
So we'd ask you to be a part of that and stay tuned as the bus project kicks off.